Destiny 2 Lightfall leaves way more questions than answers, such as who exactly the witness is and its end goals. Though it's been said he is not the darkness itself, he seems to possess powers over the dark and maybe the light. Multiple times throughout three DLCs now, the witness has spoken to the player character through its ghost, and at the end of Lightfall, was able to find and activate the veil with the player's ghost. It's in my opinion that the witness planned on the player beating Callus and would use their ghost, who likely has a connection to the darkness, to activate the veil. The final shape, or the end goal of the witness, is the end of all life and death, which means the end of the Destiny universe in-game. The Witness wants the cosmic chess game between the light and the dark, the universe, to be over. This game, or the Destiny universe, has been played over and over and over again, always resulting in the darkness winning. The Traveler, out of frustration, entered the game, the timeline Destiny of the game takes place, and interfered. In response, the darkness did as well. The Traveler uplifted multiple species, but more interestingly in my opinion, the darkness hid pyramid ships on excuse me, the moon. Uh, the darkness had already tried to end the current game through the first collapse, but the veil was hidden, so the darkness left and it waited on the edge of the galaxy for god knows how long until they could locate the veil, a device that is currently unknown what it does. Um, throughout the first campaign of Destiny 1, the Black Heart was left behind, uh, which is a tool that was meant to ch hinder the Traveler's healing. Unlike previous games or timelines, whatever you want to call them, though, the Black Heart was destroyed thanks to intel from Elsie Bray or the Exo Stranger. She is living in a literal Groundhog Day scenario where the darkness keeps winning and killing everyone she's ever known over and over again. Um, according to lore books, uh, the dark future is where Eris Morn has become the witch queen. Zavala is a crippled old man, depressed that the traveler is left, and uh, Anna Bray keeps turning to the dark side, basically, thanks to Stasis. But uh, unlike this timeline, she's been able to change that. She's learned through many failures where to lead the player and the vanguard in hopes of breaking the cycle where the darkness keeps winning. Uh, the Traveler seems to be cheating through sending Elsie back in time and hopes she can change this dark future. Anyways, at the end of Lightfall, the Witness has linked the veil to the Traveler and is very close to achieving the final shape. According to Zavala and Ikora, the Traveler is gone. Like, it's straight up disappeared. He's entered this portal on the Traveler and has now left us on a cliffhanger until the final shape releases. What we know is that the witness has taken himself and the traveler somewhere we can't access currently and is gearing up to end this cosmic chess game. While the purpose of the veil and where it leads is unclear, we can speculate what it does and why the witness needs it. Take this with a grain of salt because I do not have practically any evidence for this but the witness seems to be the third party in this battle between the gardener and the winnower or the light in the dark they have many names throughout the lore books anyways he says the traveler is a victim and a perpetrator meaning the traveler in his mind has contributed to the many deaths and destruction in the destiny universe and is ideologically opposed to the traveler and simply wants the most simple universe possible, which is no universe, no universe at all. So, I believe this portal leads to where the Winnower and the Garden originally were playing their game before the Traveler cheated. I think in this portal, which side note, I also think will be the new destination for the final shape is in this portal in the primordial garden. I guess you could put it where the gardener and widower are playing their game. This garden has the gardener, right? And the gardener is 
the pale heart that holds the key. I know that doesn't really make sense, but in my head, I'm kind of thinking that the gardener, this entity, this god that represents the light needs to be killed by the witness to end this game. Maybe the gardener and the winnower and the witness, these three gods will be killed in the final shape, but their tools such as the traveler and the pyramids will be left behind and all of our light powers and dark powers will also be left behind. That would just be a lore explanation for why would we would keep them if Bungie decided to keep making DLC. I remember they said and beyond the solar system where they would be adding new locations and a perfect place would be where the gardener and the winnower originally played their game inside this portal. This portal is going to lead us outside of the solar system for the first time in all of Destiny. We're going to leave the solar system into a new place. Maybe it's not the garden that I'm talking about. Maybe it's uh, Fundament. Maybe it's uh, Reese. Who knows? Who knows what it will be? Um, whatever the case, uh, I really wish we had more lore that Bungie would provide us. I think they really kind of just let this plot point go on for too long. It's been 10 years now. I really, really want to see how this ends. But Bungie loves to milk their story, and we will have to wait another year to see how this ends. Sorry for that negative tone, but here's to many more years of Destiny. Oh, before I go, I guarantee you, I promise you, when the saga is over, they're going to... This is I can see this coming from a mile away. It's going to be cheesy as hell. Guardians make their own fate. All the witness talks about is fate, is that the darkness wins. The Guardian's going to be like, I make my own fate. That's why we're going to win in the final shape. I don't. That probably doesn't make any sense now that I just said it, but mark my words, someone's going to say that in the final shape when we kill the witness, Guardians make their own fate or some cheesy shit like that. Anyways, that's all I got for you guys. Sorry, this video kind of sucks. I uh, just want to get this out here. Uh, yeah, thank you.